Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today, we're looking at a really cool tool that was just released for Blender, completely free and used to create buildings. Now, I'm going to say I'm taking no credit for discovering this one. This one comes 100% because of Blender Nation, and I will have this article linked down below. Now, I don't link directly to it because of liability rules around YouTube, but I'm going to have a couple of articles linked with the linked one. But kudos go out to Blender Nation where this was originally published. And you can see here, it is called Building Tools. It is for quickly generating buildings using the free add-on. Not a whole lot to it but it does link to here, where are we at? Here, so this is where you go ahead, you can download the zip uh, that you can use to go ahead and get this guy up and going. There's also a little bit of instructions on how to install it and how things work, but don't worry, in this video we are going to cover all of that and it is amazingly simple to use. And then uh, finally, we have the source code available over here. So I will link to all three of those things in the article down below, so don't worry about that. You'll notice the source code is available under the MIT license. I'll be publishing this tomorrow, so this will have been out for two days now, I can see. But as you can see from the, uh, the repository, it's been going on for a little bit of time. And you're going to admit that this is a really, really fast way to create buildings in Blender. So without further ado, let us go ahead. I don't have Blender launched, so let's start by firing up Blender. And the first thing we have to do is the same thing you always have to do, and that is delete the default cube. And I know you can get rid of that, but I like the ritual. All right, so here we are. We are now here in Blender. You can go here into Preferences, go to Add-ons. If you hadn't already installed it, you install it here, pick the zip file, and then it is ready to go. Uh, just click Enable once it comes up, and you're good to go. Now, once you've got it installed, click N. It goes over here to your Properties, and you will find it here under Building Tools. Now, if you want to go ahead and get started, it is as simple as creating a floor plan. Now, you got to admit, that's a pretty boring floor plan right now. But what we can do is come in here and we can edit it. So we've got the option of a circular floor plan, a composite floor plan, an H-shaped floor plan, or random. And what you can do with any one of these, you can you can control the, the inputs or the settings that go into it. We'll go with that. There's our, our basic floor plan that's going on. And now that that is created, I'm just going to hit tab, go over here into edit mode. I'll go into face mode and we will just box select all the top faces. With everything selected, we're now just going to go ahead and add a floor. And that is your one story house. Now, so let's say you want to make a skyscraper instead. Well, let's make it 59 floors. All right, there we go. And what we can actually do, which is kind of cool, is I can actually grab all the front facing ones and add the exact same details to all of them. But that's a little overkill. But as you can see, you can easily use this guy to create skyscrapers if you so wish. Now you've also got control over if there's a slab in between each floor and how big it'll be. So if you don't want it, you can get rid of it like so, or we can go ahead, change its overall thickness and the amount that it juts out. So if you want it or you don't, up to you. So now that you've got that selected, we're still in edit mode, we'll grab the top face that's generated up here, and now we can go ahead and add a roof, or roof if you live in Michigan. So there we go, our roof is now applied on top. We got a couple of options for it. Uh, I did not mean to select that, so let me just undo that. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna select that top face, and go ahead and add a roof on. We've got options for our roof, so we could go flat, or we could go gable, or we can go hip. Now, gable only works if it's a rectangular roof, so I'm gonna go with hip, which is what most people think of as a typical vaunted roof. And you've got some options over how it will uh, go out. We can pick how much or how big our roof actually is. And let's say, yeah, good, we're happy with this house. It's a good looking house. And so let's go ahead and add some detail to our house. So let's say this is our front door. Still in edit mode, select that face right there, and we can add a door in. So let's go ahead and we'll click add door. All right, we added a door into our world. We've got control over our door, so if we wanted, make it a double wide door, and we can put an arch over top of it. We got control over how the arch is done. We can control how big our door is, and so on. So there is our grand entrance. Now let's say we want to add a staircase coming up to our grand entrance. We're gonna grab this guy right below it and add some stairs. There we go. Once again, we can control. That's the width right here. So there is our grand entrance to our house. Now I think I got to offset it a little bit because it's it's kind of it's coming out from this gable, uh, but we're all happy. There we go. So now let's go ahead and add a window. We could just do a window here. Let's do a window here instead. Straightforward, add a window, boom, there is a window in. Now say we want to add multiple windows. I come up here and we'll do an add a window and we could add four windows. Now say we don't particularly like the style, well we can switch out here. Let's say we live in Florida, let's put some louvers or storm shields on it. And there you go. Then the other cool thing is, let's say we wanted to start adding windows in general. So let's say we want to do a window here, a window here, a window here, and a window here. We want to do say about two each. Boom. Here, let's go down, put it down to two windows. And you can do, as you can see, other than the fact that I seem to be... Where's my mouse? Alright, my mouse just bugged out. So let's just go back here and make that two. 
yeah, that definitely bugged out for a bit. So our frame got really small. All right, let's just, we'll undo that. Uh, my mouse glitched out. I do not know why, but we'll go ahead. We'll add our windows in. So now that's our default setting. So it's this guy screwed up right there. Oof, we got a lot of depth going on too. By the way, you also have control over the depth and hell, I'm fine with it. Okay, so there you go. So you can control it on multiple fronts. We can also go ahead up here, for example, unless we want to do a window and a door. Well, that's a multi-group right there. So you got control over how the door is set up. You can make it a double door or a single door. You can add an arch over the entire thing if you so wish. Simple enough. And finally, let's grab this guy right here and we could go ahead and add a balcony. And then finally, you're going to want to go ahead and make the balcony fit your door like so, and you are done. You just created a very elaborate beach house. I guess we will call that. Probably go ahead, add another window there. Uh, maybe just one. There, boom, created a house, and it's that simple. Now let's say you wanna start go ahead and texture. I'm not gonna show you the texturing process, but I'm gonna show you how this makes your texturing process really easy. So let's say I had a surface in here that I wanted to texture. All right, so here I am, uh, I'm in edit mode. I have nothing selected. Come here into material tools, and let's say I want to sit a texture on just the walls. Well, while it's been building all of this, it's kept track of what each individual thing is. So if I want to do a texture on the walls, I select walls, and then I do a select. Then if I want to put a texture on it, I click here, and I can pick the texture. Right now, I don't have any textures to work with. All I have is my default material right there. So let's go ahead and create material one. Let's create another one, material two. And we'll edit that guy, and we'll just make this guy a blue material, like so. All right, so there we go. Go back over here, I'm back into edit mode. I'm gonna select just the walls, like so. Go here, I'm gonna select material two, like that. And there you see. So that's how easy, of course you're gonna to wanna to put texture maps or in whatever, but if you're working on just a particular piece, so let's say now that I'm working on uh, another category here, so I wanna go ahead and create material three, so we'll make this for our roof or whatever. This one's going to be bright red, all right. So there we go. So now we have three materials to work with. I can go ahead and select just the roof. So again, I come up here, go just roof, select material face, and then boom. So that is how easy it is to texture all the individual pieces. And as you start creating more stuff, so if you just created something with four walls, you'd only have the walls face maps here. But as it's building new things for you, it's actually building the texture face map stuff for you. And this will take care of if you put bricks on, it will pile the bricks properly across all of the different faces. So it makes the texturing process incredibly easy. So then, you know, if you want to start texturing the various different pieces of your houses, you literally just come in and select those things individually and you're off to the races. So again, this guy can be used to create um, anything from these little guys right here. So I could go ahead and I'll create another one here. So let's go back to object mode. Or if I wanted to, once again, I come here, create a floor plan. Let's move that guy over like so. And yeah, yeah, sure, that's a great floor plan. Go into edit mode. Let's select everything and add our floors. And we will add 15 floors. And then boom. So there you've got a little house or you got a skyscraper. And if you want to go ahead, once again, as I was hinting at earlier in edit mode, face select, and go ahead, select, 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 and select. So everything but the ground floor, which is where your door would go. You want to add your windows in. You go ahead, you can add in two windows per floor. And it's got the weirdo indent that I changed the default on. But you see how fast you could go ahead and create a skyscraper. So again, you can just basically come down here, select all these guys, like so. And now, once again, add a window. And we'll do one window per floor. And boom, you just created a skyscraper in mere seconds. So this tool is, <laughs> it's really shockingly capable. Now, there are limitations, there are things he was working on. You head on back over here to his website. Uh, he does have a bit of a rundown of stuff that he is looking at working on. Again, this currently is an alpha. Uh, we go to this guy right here. Uh, we got some of the things that he is working on coming soon available as well. I thought, where did I see that? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was a thing of what he was going to be working on. But as you can see, this is what it's capable of now. And I'm impressed. I got to say, I really am quite impressed. So you could make uh, everything from a simple and colorful textured house to a massive skyscraper 
in, again, just a few seconds, that impresses me. The fact that it is completely free and works flawlessly in Blender impresses me even more. So again, all of the links will be down below and let me know what you think of this. Also, let me know if there is like a Blender add-on you really think I should cover with this station. Let me know that as well and I will do my best. Oh, by the way, this is straight up just normal polygonal mesh stuff. So if you want at any point in time, for example, I could come into this guy on here, do like some extrude, and we can just start doing whatever we want. So I can do a loop cut here, for example, and so on. This is just a model or a mesh that you are working with. Uh, you might mess with some of their face map details over here, but you can take over and tweak it however you wish. So if it doesn't do what you want, you could use this just to create base meshes and go from there. All right, so that is it. Uh, again, all of the links will be down below, but that is Building Tools, a really cool, new, completely free Blender add-on. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.